And even with your best intentions, you have to work to restore the credibility of the government and public trust in the government that you serve in. Number two, if you can see, the reason why the, there's a trust deficit is not an accident. Your own minutes from K, as we have been taken through here, have identified the fact that there are many competing interests and they have to be vendor-driven interests within government. So Kenyans have every right, Honorable Chair, to be suspicious of this deal. Thirdly, Honorable CS, let me disabuse you of this notion that there are stakeholders in JKIA or in our airports distinct from the people of Kenya. The stakeholders in JKIA are the 55 million of us. You cannot have a small meeting somewhere in a corner then claim that you have had conversations with stakeholders. Stakeholders in this particular case are the 55 million Kenyans. And the fact that there was a lack of disclosure, and I think uh, the committee will be making a recommendation that we make an amendment to the law on PPP. Immediately somebody arrives at your office, Honorable CS, with a so-called privately initiated proposal. Within 48 hours you must disclose that that email has come to your uh, email account. Otherwise, you are not going to uh, be able to move forward with this. There are serious integrity concerns with the company itself and, of course, with the government that is proposing to go ahead with this uh, uh, particular project. Uh, Honorable CS, you know what happened uh, to the finance bill. You know the sort of furor that it brought about. I can compare the objections uh, to the Adani deal to that, where we were with the finance bill. At this particular moment in time, even with your best efforts, and I know you are a very, uh, what is the word? Uh, y yes, you, you are somebody who puts in effort. But I can assure you, uh, CS, it doesn't matter how you explain this deal, the people's mind is made up on a dime. We will lose, we will lose nothing go back to the position that had been taken by cabinet as expressed by uh, the then uh, transport cs murkomen when he appeared before the senate that we will put out an international expression of interest let this process be above board in the in the in the uh, uh, development and upgrade of jkia the, this pip uh, model is not going to be available for the government of kenya put it out there in the public let people uh, apply let the process be open. Let everybody see what proposals are coming from where. I do not agree that there they are not uh, many people who want to invest in this country. The reason why people are afraid to invest in this is because of these games and shenanigans that we are playing uh, within our own uh, governments and systems. At the host of JKIA, all of us as stakeholders, but the people of Nairobi have told me to say no to this deal. Therefore, I want to urge you very strongly, cancel this thing. You will not, even with your best efforts, be able to convince anyone in Kenya today that this is a deal that is above board. Let us go back to public procurement when it comes to this particular deal. I thank you, Honorable Chair. Thank you very much, Senator Sifona. Senator Ledamo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My friend, um, C.S. Davis Churchill. You should be in the front line rejecting this deal. Even if it has some deal makers of a barrel being forced to do things whether they like it or not. We live in Kenya. 